Hello, welcome to What's Happening. I'm your host, Emily Tellick. Today's guest is Dwight Chapin, here to discuss the upcoming author talks he'll be giving in May on his new book, The President's Man. Dwight, thank you for joining me today. Well, thank you, Emily. Good morning. Good morning. Now, in May, you will be at the Osterville Village Library and Dennis Memorial Library discussing The President's Man, a memoir you wrote about your time spent as Deputy Assistant to President Richard Nixon, and it was just recently published on February 15th. So can you give us a little teaser on your memoir? Surely, surely. Thank you for asking me to do so. Uh, my book is about my story which and my journey with President Richard Nixon. I started working with him as a, when I was a very young man uh, at the University of Southern California. And that journey proceeded all the way to the White House when he was inaugurated in 1969. And I went to the White House as his appointment secretary and with the official title of deputy assistant to the president. And I was responsible for his schedule and all of his trips and so forth. And that included uh, Dr. Kissinger's historic trip to the People's Republic of China that he engineered on behalf of President Nixon. And I also was, by not choice, uh, involved in the matter called Watergate on a very uh, lower level, but, but I had the experience of going through that. So my book covers the, the, my period with Richard Nixon and these historic things that happened during his presidency, the opening of China, the SALT talks with the uh, Russians, uh, Watergate, and numerous other things that unfolded during, during that time. It's, a, I believe, probably one of the best uh, insights into Richard Nixon, the man himself, that anyone has ever put together, at least on the staff side, because I spent so much time with him starting in 1962 and going for a whole decade uh, that I was by his side. And I was literally by his side uh, day and night for uh, weeks and months on end. So I, I think I have a very good understanding of the man. I have an understanding of that the historic period in, of, in time. And uh, that's what my book is all about. That's absolutely fascinating. And I'm sure you're asked this question a lot, but why now? Why, why did you pick now to tell your story? Was there a particular- Emily, that's a great question. That's a great question. Uh, the why now is because I am more on the senior citizen side of things. So if, if I were going to write it, I, I damn well ought to get at it. Uh, that and the fact that I, uh, four years ago, I was in charge of the renovation of the Nixon Library out in Yorba Linda, California. And as I was working on the library, I started realizing how little people really knew about President Nixon. They know two things. They either know Watergate or they know he opened China and they, they're, they're almost clueless as to the, the dimensions of the man himself. He, he was an incredibly brilliant man. He was more of an introvert and an extrovert's business, but he, but he, he was a, a, a person who, who gave great deal of thought and work on all of his decisions that he made. And none of that had been coming across to the American public. And I felt that I really, because of the position that he, gave me the privilege of holding that I had a debt of honor to him. Uh, and so that led me into thinking, okay, uh, for historical purposes, I should get this down. And, and that is really the basic reason I did it. And also I needed to do it for my own family. I mean, after all, I ended up going to prison and, and some day some grandchild of mine far off that I probably don't even know yet uh, is going to say, what, what in the world happened to my great grandfather? What, why did he have to go to prison? So I wanted to, to, to lay out my whole story, not only for history, but for my family. 
Mm-hmm. No, absolutely. You know, and it's going to give a whole new perspective that other people are not used to. You know, you're you're going to be on the side of somebody who was in it, right? Instead of right. Outside. So that's that's we were in it. We were right in the middle of it. Let me tell you. Right. And, and I think that's what uh, the, the audiences, the various book uh, audiences that I've talked to, really enjoy is the fact that I have inside type stories i i can talk about i i i knew the man i actually you know knew knew him i knew his family and i knew how i know how he thought and I, i'm able to answer a lot of questions uh, that people have about richard nixon all right absolutely and now can you tell us where you're going to be giving these author talks um where yes. and when okay i i'm giving two talks on the cape uh, on Thursday, May the 12th, I'm going to be at the Dennis Memorial Library. So that's Thursday, May 12th, and it's going to be from 7 till around 8.30 p.m. And I'm going to talk about the book and uh, some of the stories from the book, give, give people a flavor of it, and then also uh, be available to answer questions after I have spoken. And then on May the 14th, which is Saturday, I'm going to be at the Osterville uh, Library, uh, and I'll be there from one till around two thirty. So either either library uh, on the twelfth or on the fourteenth, we would like to invite the general public to to come and to uh, answer, ask me any questions they might have, and I, we'll have a very enjoyable evening and afternoon. Yes. Is there anything else you would like to add while we're here? If not, no worries. I'd just like to bring that opportunity to you. Well, thank you. I, I just encourage people to come out and say that I look forward to, to meeting them. And I always look forward to being on the Cape, regardless of what excuse I might have. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, thank you so much, Dwight, for joining us today and for talking about your book. And the best of luck to you during your author talks in May. Well, thank you, Emily. I, I hope we can meet in person sometime. Thank yes, you. That would be lovely. <laughs> well, we'll catch you in the next episode of What's Happening. I'm Emily Tellick, and have a great day.